He loves the game of footy. If you ask Bunger, if anyone is playing Bunger, and he loves the game of footy. Really loves it. Bunger's just the ultimate leader. He's very meat and veg. He's, uh, he's, he's basic. Bunger doesn't do much. If he's not at the footy club, he's out fishing, and if not, he's sleeping. So there's not much else to Bunger. He's always been a pretty simple bloke, straight down the line. Again, a little bit of old school footballer about him. Obviously a great mate, so I put a lot of trust in him. Loves his footy, knows his footy, and he's Mr. Consistent. It's rare that he misses uh, a training session, let alone a game or anything else, so someone we admire. Ever since I've come to the club, you see some blokes who are great players, and they always say great players, but um, Bunga, he was always a good player, but he's really turned himself into a great player. He ended up being captain of our footy club. Oh, who's within range? In fact, he was within range when he was in the centre square. I've learned a lot about leadership over the years with Bung. He, he knows what he is, he knows how he goes about things and people follow. Great lesson for anyone coming through the ranks in terms of leadership. But his biggest strength is probably one-on-one -on -one and the subtle parts of leadership. The biggest thing I learned from Bunga was not having to be a certain type of way or a certain type of leader. He was all about just being yourself and, and being the best of that. The, the growth of his leadership was something that I thought just developed in a real positive manner to the point where he's a premiership captain. Always knew what he wanted to achieve as a player and never let anything external uh, interfere with his process and his, his ability to train hard, which I always admired. Hearn just waits, oh. props, lines them up and kicks a great goal. He's more curious about what you're doing and how you're doing it, making sure you're getting the best out of yourself and everything on top, he's just been a good, good shoulder and someone who just listens. But yeah, he's a gentleman, big gentleman. Switkowski wrapped up and gone. Great tackle by Shannon Hearn. His ability to bump blokes and like, hit blokes fairly takes courage because you've got to be able to put your head over the ball yourself and you know not carelessly whack a bloke in the head. But he's, he's as tough as they come. Hearn versus Franklin. Got him too. But he ended up on the floor. I think as he got older, he started to understand you know, how important he was to the group off-field as well and his ability to connect and teach. And I think he's going to be obviously an all-time great for the footy club and, and someone all of us have been really lucky to play with. Haynes, he just spoiled Davis and guess who, the captain, Hearn.